Earlier this week, we invited UN resident coordinator for Kazakhstan, Mikaela Freiberg's story to our studio. To know details and agenda of SDG Summit in New York and also to know her vision on the future of cooperation with Kazakhstan, please watch the fragment of conversation right now. Hello, Michaela. Thanks for joining us today. So my first question is about um, SDG Summit in New York. Uh, we can call it very important mile in reinforcing commitment to 2030 agenda. But what is an agenda right now? And let us do a quick, quick reality check. What are the main challenges world leaders address today? Why is it important in the divisive world we live right now uh, to call out for a cooperative work and uh, how initiatives sounded by world leaders, leaders will be promoted next through what kind of mechanisms and tools? Well, if you look at what is happening right now, some will say that we have advanced and yes, we have but we're still only looking at some 12% of all the SDGs indicators that are de facto advancing. We are sliding backwards on the number of issues. Mm -hmm. And even where we are advancing, such as on, on gender equality and women's empowerment, is going so slowly that it's going to take us 300 years if we don't speed up. So long. And we're seeing that unless we advance poverty reduction, we're going to have almost 580 million people living in extreme poverty when we get to 2030. We are risking future generations, not only through poverty, but also through not addressing the climate threats that we are seeing. So we count on the leaders today in New York to adopt a political declaration that will reinvigorate and revitalize political solidarity and commitment to mm -hmm. sustainable development and human rights. So here in Kazakhstan, for example, we are over 25 up to 27 UN entities engaging with Kazakhstan, being a partner of Kazakhstan to advance sustainable development. But we need more. We need a stronger commitment from national authorities. I'm not talking specifically about Kazakhstan there because we see a lot yes, of yes, engagement. Globally. Yes. globally. But what we also need is that the richer part of the world is actually supporting the poorer part of the world even more, much mm -hmm. more than what they do today. The Secretary General calls for an additional contribution of $500 billion a year. And we can do this by leaning forward and making better use of the financial instruments that are at hand, but also unlocking the potential of the private sector. That means to look at the energy sector, at the education sector, at just and social uh, protection, looking at gender issues, looking at education and looking at the digitalization and how we can leapfrog development with digital transformation. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things where Kazakhstan has really made strong progress. The digital family card, for example, is one of those digital tools that allows to reach those that are at risk of being left behind. Right, talking about Kazakhstan a little bit, resources deficit, we're talking about uh, water, electricity, mm -hmm. uh, natural resources are one of the key challenges this region and Kazakhstan as a country faces right now, uh, not mentioning some global challenges like climate change, food security and uh, so on. How international cooperation in your point of view, including through UN platforms, can assist in solving uh, these particular issues? If we talk about uh, the potential for drought uh, in Kazakhstan, that will impact the wheat harvest. That could impact the earnings for farmers. And it can impact those markets that are dependent on Kazakh exports globally. Mm -hmm. So everything stands together. And as the UN, we are working with every single dimension of this through our different agencies, funds and programs. Whether you talk about FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, assisting farmers in finding the right type of crops, whether you look at uh, the economic commissions for Europe that are really focusing on creating national platform for water dialogues, whether you talk about UNDP that has very large programs also here in Kazakhstan focusing on strengthening regional work, 
or right. UNICEF look at, looking at the children's dimension. How do you see, in general, Kazakhstan's role, Kazakhstan's contribution in the implementation of uh, the goals of sustainable development? Well, there's, of course, two avenues. The first is to look at what Kazakhstan has achieved at home. And it is a remarkable development that Kazakhstan has undergone during, during the, the past 30 years. And that is development, you know, and that should be recognized. That is an enormous achievement. The second track to look at is the international commitments that you see from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan has an unwavering commitment to the UN Charter, to multilateralism and sustainable development. Kazakhstan is starting to become a donor and supporting other countries. So mm. I think Kazakhstan really leads the way in how you can think in new dimensions to support sustainable development regionally and globally. Will it influence um, our future cooperation with the UN in particular? Um, well, I, I just assume that it's going to continue to be strong. Uh, Kazakhstan is such a strong member of the UN and with the, such a strong track record of success also in its multilateralism, whether you talk about the sitting on the Security Council or, or when it comes to having had very prominent positions in the UN system as well. I'm convinced that Kazakhstan and UN uh, will continue to prosper in our partnership. Thank you very much, Mikhail, for your time and your answers. Thanks. Thank you. We very appreciate it.